keep getting all these comments. When are you gonna do a toy hunt video? When are you gonna get back to toy hunting? How about right freaking now? What's up everyone? So uh, I feel like I haven't filmed anything in my car in months. And I think it has been months since I actually did a toy hunt video. But uh, right now, I'm in Cincinnati, but I'm driving to the airport because I'm flying to Texas. I'm flying to Dallas, Texas. Tomorrow I plan on spending the day with Rube the Great, not another retro channel, and we are gonna do some toy hunting. Yeah, three days in to 2019 and I'm doing my first toy hunt video. So, feels good to be getting back to the toy hunting. That's kind of what made this channel. But uh, getting back to it, looking forward to it. I'll see you guys in Texas. I can't wait to freaking eat some Whataburger, maybe some tacos. I'm freaking pumped. Toy hunt three days into January. Let's do this. I'll see you in Texas. So this is uh, kind of creepy. I'm the only person in this train, as you can see here. So I'm wondering at this point if I'm gonna get the powers of Shazam in a few minutes. Uh, I did not get the powers of Shazam on that train, by the way. I'm a little disappointed. But I am in Texas. I just had uh, breakfast with Mrs. Cincy. It was delicious. Had a couple breakfast tacos, chorizo egg and cheese, and bacon egg and cheese. And now, before I meet up with Rube and Craig, I'm going to hit some stores. So I'm going to try and hit up a Walmart or maybe a Target. I want to try and find those Transformers mini bots. There's something else I'm looking for. Oh, Spider Man Noir, Marvel Legends. So. I'm gonna hit up uh, Walmart. I'll show you what they got. Old fashioned, old school toy hunt. Let's do it. All right, so this is a uh, new Walmart. This one is on Arapaho and Coit. Looking for the toys right now, and I'll show you what they got. All right, I'm all done at that Walmart, and uh, it is a new Walmart, but um, it's also a very small Walmart. It's definitely not a Walmart super center. There's one up the road, up uh, Coit Road, that I'm gonna go to that I always used to go to. So yeah, this is a smaller Walmart. They don't have much of a toy selection at all. They didn't have any Marvel Legends, like not a single one. And they didn't have the Transformers mini bots that I've been looking for, but I did not leave empty handed. I bought a movie, and this is a movie that I planned multiple times to see in the theater, but never got around to it. And by the time I decided to go see it, it was already gone. But it's Bad Times at the El Royale. Hopefully that's a good movie. I've heard uh, nothing but positive things about it. I'm gonna go hit Target up the road, uh, Walmart Supercenter up the road, and uh, I'll show you what they got there. Hopefully they have much better selection at the Walmart up the road. It's the one that I always used to go to before going to work every morning. So I know it's a big freaking Walmart and we'll see what they got. All right, I'm here at the Target on Coit Road in like the Plano area. So let's go inside, cross my fingers, see what they got. One of the uh, things that I miss a lot about Texas, and this is weird, are uh, Super Targets. Um, we don't have them in Ohio. I think the closest one we had to Cincinnati was in like Indianapolis, like 100 miles away. Super Target is basically a Target. It's a giant Target with like a grocery store inside of it but uh, I love these things.
All right, all down at Target, and uh, they had a pretty good selection there, I gotta say. That Gamorrean Guard is an excellent figure, one of my favorite figures of 2018. Legends-wise, they did not have the Spider-Man Noir that I'm looking for, but they had remnants of the SPDR wave. They had Cloak and Dagger, a couple of the other ones, but um, really looking for that Noir, so hopefully I can find that one at the Walmart that I'm about to go to. Rube should be in the area pretty soon, so I'm gonna meet up with him, and then uh, we're gonna meet up with Craig after that, but uh, let's go see what they have at Walmart. All right, let's see if they move things around on me. The toy aisle, yes, it's still in the same place as it was seven years ago. <sighs> Feels like home. And look what I have found. Glorious. So they got Swerve, Swerve, <laughs> Outback. Outback is a little bent card there. But I still found a couple of them that I'm looking for. So definitely gonna pick up couple of those Let's see what else they got some of the hot rods I really want this but I feel like 80 is a little too high for it if it ever goes on clearance I'm definitely gonna pick that one up the TIE fighter I got uh, let's see DJ uh, they got the typicals that you find. Still have this guy, House Vesuvio. And let's see what legends they have. This is a fantastic figure, but I already have it. Let's see if they have Noir. <clears throat> I don't see Noir. This is a good figure, Black Knight. There's Electra. Is she missing the bath? Someone stole the bath. Son of a bee. Uh, that's a cool figure, Malekith. But no Spidey Noir that I'm seeing, which sucks. But I will continue the hunt. See what wrestlers they have. That is a terrible looking figure for Chad Gable. Why would they choose that color <laughs> combination? <laughs> All right, so I just noticed that the uh, multiverse figures are 15 bucks on clearance. And I took a little closer look at this Harley Quinn, and this is a great looking figure. That's an awesome face sculpt there. Thigh rotation, it looks like. And it looks like a good figure for 15 bucks. They also have this one here, Spoiler, which has an alternate head for the uh, Lex Luthor. <laughs> I was going to say Lex Luger. For the Lex Luthor build a figure. All right, so I saw this. This is really cool. I love that scene in Solo. It's like a walking cannon. I know the articulation is not good, but it just looks cool. And it's on clearance for 21. But then I saw this. It's the Studio Series Bumblebee. And the more I look at this figure, the more I want it. And it's 16 bucks. And it just looks really cool. Definitely gonna pick up at least one of these. I noticed that the Outback was crease on the card. And I'm trying to keep these on card just because I like the aesthetic of how they look on card. So I have decisions to make now. Okay, all done at Walmart and uh, I made a decision. And this trip was all about the bots. So I picked up the Minibot Swerve Classic card. This thing is gorgeous. I freaking love these things. I hope they make more of these. I got Swerve and then I got the, um, <clears throat> the cards a little damaged on this one. But I did get Outback. Coincidentally, I had Outback for dinner last night. But I got Outback, the bot, and he's got a little crease right there. A little crease action. So if I find another one of these, I'll probably pick it up in uh, mint condition. I still need Tailgate, and I still need Bumblebee. Speaking of Bumblebee, Segway, bam! I got the Bumblebee from the Bumblebee Movie Studio Series. This uh, makes me want to go get Dropkick now and uh, pretty much any other bots that they do from the Bumblebee movie. What am I gonna do now? I'm still waiting to meet up with Craig and Rube. There's another Walmart actually not too far from here. Let's go see where I go. All right, so I am at another Walmart <laughs> and possibly another Target after that and then possibly another Walmart after that before we hit Stash. But uh, yeah, I'm heading into this Walmart. This is the one at Park off of the Tollway and then I'm gonna possibly go over to the Target across the street. And then, 
toy stash. And I'm looking for more mini bots, hopefully in good card condition. I'm looking for Dropkick now, since I just got that freaking Bumblebee. And I'm looking for Spidey Noir. I'll see you guys inside. All right, so no Spidey Noir. I already looked through these. They do have this one though, Black Widow, which you don't see very often anymore. So there's a good score if someone's looking for her. We have these elites right here. Right there. And then they have, this was the highlight of the Black Series, Tarkin. Um, usual suspects on the rest of these, but they do have an Enfy's Nest right here where the bubble's like coming off. The bubble's cracked right there. And I have wanted to buy an Enfy's Nest to open. So I will probably get this one right here just to open immediately. They have a freaking mountain of hot rods right there. I don't see any mini bots. I'm going to check electronics because I heard that they have been seen in electronics. And then there is a Fortnite Cuddle Team Leader. Uh, but that's about it. That's about it for this toy section. I really want this, but not for 80 bucks. So please go on clearance because I will buy you. Those of you that like the Mega Constructs, they have a freaking metric ass ton of fakers right there. Lots of fakers down there. And then this guy looks really freaking cool. I like the detail on this one. This is the uh, Turtles Leonardo. And it looks like they went with like the Eastman and Laird's comic book look. That's really cool. This is cool too. T1000. These things are kind of badass, gotta say. All right, electronics area. They have the uh, Goth 11. We got Will. There's Mike. Another Will. Squeezable dart. And a few Walmart exclusive pops. Right here. Right there. Still need to see this movie. Ralph Breaks the Internet. Vanilla P. And that's about it. So there you go. No mini bots. So the search continues. Can I just say how freaking inconvenient it is to not have that little magnetic thing for this phone to hang on? I got this guy, he's an opener. Speaking of openers, bam! All right, so I unboxed Emphy's Nest and she's freaking awesome. Whoops, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Solo yet, I said she, it is a she. And if you haven't seen Solo yet, shame on you because it was a good movie. But there you go, here, let me. Let me show you that. So there you go, got an opener, Enfy's Nest, awesome figure, looks great. I'm at Target right now, I'm sitting in the parking lot. Let's go inside, see if they got Dropkick. Anything else that's cool, let's do it. All right, not much footage at that Target because, uh, I don't know, it seemed like uh, something weird was going on with the uh, the toy area. It, it was, the shelves were like super sparse, almost like um, they're preparing to like go out of business. So I'm not sure about the uh, strength of this super Target here in Plano, but uh, it doesn't look good for the toy aisle. I mean, they were, <laughs> they didn't have a lot on their shelves at all. So maybe they just sold a lot through the holidays and they're waiting for a uh, restock, but not much. Uh, but uh, the guys just uh, let me know that they are on their way to Toy Stash. So that's the next clip you'll see. I'll be at Toy Stash, show you what they got. I'm excited. So let's go over there and uh, see what they got. 